award, which is for an actor or actress who's made a unique and enduring contribution to soaps over a long period of time. And to present the award is a man who for 20 years was taken into the nation's heart as the lovelorn Curly Watts. Would you please welcome Kevin Kennedy! <laughs> <laughs> the recipients of this year's Lifetime Achievement Award first appeared in Weatherfield in 1974. Harold Wilson was Prime Minister, the Osmonds were at number one with Love Me For A Reason, and Annie Walker was landlady of the Rover's Return. It was in Mike Baldwin's factory we first laid eyes on a character that would become, quite literally, soap royalty. She quickly moved into number nine Coronation Street with her pigeon-loving husband, Jack and later by their wayward teenager, Terry. The rest, as they say, is history. I am, of course, talking about the iconic and dearly loved Vera Duckworth, played by the quite brilliant Liz Dawn. Liz's portrayal of Vera Duckworth won her an army of fans as she captured the nation's imagination with Vera's colourful life. From her belief that she was, in fact, royalty, to her trials and tribulations with Jack and her extended screen family. Liz has always been the consummate professional, especially when it comes to learning her lines. She would actually <laughs> stick whole sections of her script onto any available prop. <laughs> Beer mats, tablecloths, cereal packets, other actors. <laughs> find so much in fact that one day someone moved one such prop by accident and the look on Lizzie's face as she realized her lines were no longer there was a pure picture <laughs> millions of viewers turned in to watch her final scenes and the episode even set the news agenda for the day with stories running on every channel let's take a look at the incredible Liz Dawn's work on the street She's all you'd ever want. She's the kind I'd like to flaunt and take to the oh. <laughs> She always knows her place. She's got style, she's got pace. She's a lady. <laughs> she's a lady. Oh, she's a lady. Talking about that little lady. And the lady. Short legs. Oh, I wouldn't know, love. I, I think he's wet. Oh, you passed it. That's your trouble. And you know your trouble. You don't know what it's about. Yeah. <laughs> Moving in, are you? Mm, bye, yeah, Kilda. What kept you, eh? Must be all of 30 seconds since we left Ivy's. Oh, come on. We can move in now, Elder's here. Hey, uh, what do you think? Couldn't you get him any longer, Vera? I could have got him twice as long, but you can't be too obvious, can you, with these French fellas? <laughs> Well, you'll laugh on the other side of your face, don't you? Get off me! You're under a twist, you. You know that. Yes, well, you're all talk, you, and you never achieve aught. So, aren't you ready at half past one, shaved, and put your best soap on? Oh, blimey, B. No, man, blimey, B. Stay off the hill this morning. I'll make sure he don't go chasing women half his age. Cos if he does, these won't be the only things I'll be cutting up into little pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's certainly eye-catching. <laughs> Mrs. Duckworth, the sight of your house would wipe the smile off anybody's face. <laughs> common, are we? Never in a million years, madam. But Anthony thinks we're common. Who could think that we were common, eh? Loft full of pigeons, box all over. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, it's a touch of glass now. A real <laughs> touch of glass. Hey. hey, looking good, Vera. I always knew you'd make star villain. Right. Where are we going now? What do you mean, where we're going now? What I say, where are we going now? Hey, that's lovely, the old treachery. Will you stop sucking your thumb? People will think you're not a full shilling. <laughs> I mean, it's only you can turn me on. Now, now look, I'm, I'm an invalid. I've got my sexy underwear on. 
Guess neither of us are as young as what we were in 1957. Yeah, but still, I should have known better than to get you on the floor, shouldn't I? Nice thought, though. <laughs> Share about the splinter. <laughs> this is where we came for that dirty weekend just before we got married. I'm still remembering that. Do you know that's 49 years ago? Of course I remember it, my little swamp duck. Go on, wake up, wake up, sweetheart. Wake up. No. No. No, you have. No, you have. No, you have. I love you, Jack. I know. And you know too, don't you? I do. <laughs> The Lifetime Achievement Award 2008 goes to the brilliant Liz Dawn. Thank you. You've heard that saying, don't get your knickers in a twist. <laughs> I often pull my zip up before I came on. I've been in agony. <laughs> and every time anybody stood up, he said, shifting round a bit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Aren't it been a lovely one? But you know, I won the lottery when I got Bill. You know, we worked so hard together. And he's a lovely man. I sound breathless, do I? Is it mine? <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Looking back, after 32 years, it's only when you leave that you realise what a lovely life you've had. You know, you meet some wonderful people, not just in our programme, every other and it's been fantastic wish you were young again and do it all over again so thank you She was second cousin to the Queen. So I'm sure that you would be like, delighted to know that His Royal Highness Prince Charles wanted to send a special message to you. Oh, Liz. did he? Uh, yes, he has. And he's a in... lovely fellow. <laughs> <laughs> in that special message, he said His Royal Highness would like to send Liz Dawn his congratulations for her remarkable achievement, and he sends his very best wishes for a successful and enjoyable awards evening. He was just sorry he wasn't here himself. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Liz Dawn! Thank you. And of course, the big one, who will be best British soap? Don't go away.